Right, guys, I have been promising a video control panel base settings or my settings in any way video for quite some time, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, but before I get to the video control panel, guys, you know the draw. Hit that notification bell, smash the like button, comment on the video, share it if you like. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing if you find this type of content helpful. I do have a whole bunch of optimization videos on my, on my own page. You can just knock yourself out with that. But getting to the task at hand. So guys, um, just a quick little disclaimer. I don't play online multiplayer games. My choice of game is 100% single player offline. So that's going to be what I'm catering for in my in video control panel. But um, okay, so once you're setting up the video control panel, I like to enable developer settings that just gives you manage GP performance counters over here. And then I set it to allow access. Look, uh, it doesn't really make a difference. I'll just do it in any way. And then under adjust image settings, um, I did do a video on this at, uh, the other day. I will link it at the end of the video. But if you set it to quality uh, and you go into the in video control panel, you'll see uh, it's going to set anisotropic filtering um, to times eight, anti aliasing times four. It just adds a whole, a whole bunch of filters. And if you don't have a strong G, uh, GPU, I actually recommend that you set it to performance. Because now that we've hit apply and we're going to manage 3D settings, you see it just turns off all those filters. So the reason I put it off here is because you can go in your cam and you can adjust your filters there. Um, I like to have everything pretty bare bones in the video control panel just to make sure that the video control panel actually yields as much SPS that it can. And then I can set my filters in game and lose some FPS there, uh, here and there. Um, uh, in game rather uh, nothing really to do with any of these settings the first setting that I adjust is CUDA, CUDA system fallback policy that's a new setting uh, since 546.01 I did do testing driver default um, actually uh, you lose a little bit uh, uh, probably about 2 FPS 1% lows if you leave the setting at driver default prefer system fallback um, you lose maybe one uh, FPS in terms of one percent lows, and then prefer no system fallback, which is the setting I recommend. You're gonna get, you're gonna get the best one percent lows, the best point one percent lows, and the best average FPS. So just go ahead and set prefer no system fallback. I will link that video at the end of this video just to show you my results on that. If you have dynamic boost, um, by default it should be on. What dynamic boost is, when you're playing a game, it will dynamically boost wherever you need performance, whether it be on your CPU or your GPU. Um, I did do a video in the past where I actually got some uh, untoward results, but it's best to just leave dynamic boost on if you have that setting. Most of you, or some of you might not. It's, it's, it's a newer setting. I think it came out in 2021. So it's up to your uh, manufacturer whether or not they actually include a dynamic boost. Low latency mode, it's the setting I actually used to put on Ultra. But um, look, I am gaming on a, a laptop, so I don't have off, on, and Ultra. I've only got off and Ultra. Seeing that I play single player games, latency is not a concern for me, so I just put that to off. But if you do play multiplayer games, you might want to consider putting the setting to on or Ultra. So um, I find that in single player games, uh, you get much better stability with low latency off. But um, there are, uh, Alan Wake 2 actually likes uh, low latency mode set to ultra, as well as, uh, where is it, The Witcher 3. As you can see, uh, The Witcher 3, I said, I said low latency mode to ultra, because if you don't have low latency mode to ultra on The Witcher 3, your 1% lows are going to drop like 30 or 40 FPS. I don't know why, it just doesn't. But anyways, getting back to the control panel. Next, uh, open GDR, GDR compatibility. This is something that should not affect your gaming performance. However, I don't care uh, theoretically what's meant to happen, blah, 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 blah. I do my benchmarks. If I get more performance, I use that setting. 
So people are going to say, oh no, but most games on OpenGL, I don't give a shit. You get better performance when you put it to preferred performance. Moving on. OpenGL rendering GPU, just go ahead and select your GPU. Um, power management mode, a lot of people, um, they, they moan when you don't leave it at optimal power. For me, I always set, set it to prefer maximum performance. I will do a video, uh, I did a video uh, about six months ago on it, uh, eight months ago, but you do get slightly better performance with prefer maximum performance. Um, shader cache, I did a video on that, it doesn't really affect performance, but because I play open all games, I set mine to unlimited. Texture filtering, negative load bias, just leave it on the low, unless you want really high picture quality and you're not worried about performance so much. Texture filtering quality, I used to set it to high performance, but you actually get better visuals when you set it to high quality. And I did a video uh, about three, four days ago where I tested the settings between high quality and high performance. There's no performance drop, but there is a visual improvement. So you might as well just leave texture filtering on high quality. A thread optimization, I just leave it on. on. Um, uh, I did a bit, in fact, I'll do a video on it again. But uh, yeah, there's. Uh, Auto and on are actually the be the ones where you get the best performance. So I just leave it on on, and then from there I just leave all these settings below thread optimization, and those are pretty much my video control panel settings. So uh, set physics configuration. Just always select your GPU. Uh, people used to recommend setting it to your CPU, but I mean that was a long time ago. You get much better performance when you set it to your GPU. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And as always guys, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now is the time to do so. It's Friday, it's the weekend, have a good one, cheers.